Well, we look back and recognize 2003 uh, was the completion of the Human Genome Project, a remarkable achievement um, that all of us should be immense, immensely proud of. Um, and yet, what's happened since 2003 has in many ways surprised those of us involved in genomics because the pace at which things happened. What are some of the specific examples of remarkable accomplishments? Probably the first and foremost that most people would name is the development of technologies for sequencing DNA. When the Genome Project ended 2003, um, NHGRI, the institute I work at, put out a strategic vision for genomics of what's next following the Human Genome Project. And among the many things we called for that were exciting opportunities, we, we, we talked about the need for technological leaps that were just seemed so far off but were critical to advance the field of genomics. One of the examples we gave was the ability to sequence DNA at many orders of magnitude cheaper than what had been done for sequencing that first human genome as part of the Human Genome Project and even called for the idea of maybe being able to eventually sequence a human genome for $1,000, sort of became a battle cry for the community, the $1,000 genome. Uh, and the reason it was such an audacious thing to say at the end of the Genome Project was that we had just sequenced the first human genome and it cost upwards of a billion dollars. Now we were proposing to come up with new technologies to do it for $1,000. And I think when we wrote that in 2003, we thought someday, 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 that'll be a reality, but wow, that's probably, you know, a decade or two or three away. And you find yourself seven, eight years after that was written, technologies were being implemented that were inching us closer and closer to a $1,000 genome. And now coming up at the 10th anniversary of the completion of the Human Genome Project, we are within striking distance of a $1,000 genome. And I don't think anybody could have predicted it would have happened that quick. So I would certainly say that first and foremost, the technology advances to sequence genomes was probably the biggest highlight since the end of the Human Genome Project.